Hi everyone, welcome back to our Growing Together mini-series. Hazel and Antonio just brought their baby home and Hazel is getting a call from her mother. Hey sweetie, we're coming over to see the little one and help out however we can. That is so nice, I've never seen this before so I don't even know what we means. Is that like her entire household? Is it gonna be both her mums and her brother? I don't know, I guess we'll see in a second. But that is happening at the same time as the welcome wagon is coming in. At least it seems like it. there's people with the fruitcake. So I'm guessing that the welcome wagon is literally just about to begin. So we'll have a very full house right after the baby is home. That is probably very exhausting, but of course she wouldn't say no. So yeah, of course you can come over. I wanted the family to meet the baby anyway. I just didn't think it would happen this soon. Hazel is still out on a jog. So let's have Antonio welcome everyone, introduce himself to everyone. Yep, the welcome wagon is here. Invite the neighbors in, introduce yourself to everyone. Oh, Antonio is so tired. This is probably not gonna go that well, but at least accept the fruitcake. Is Hazel anywhere near? Oh, you are back. Just let Maddie go and introduce yourself to everyone as well. So at least we'll have good relationships with all of the neighbors. Hopefully that will be pretty nice. I also need to check the first impressions and the compatibility because I set some likes and dislikes for these two so i do need to show you those things as well i just want her to introduce herself to everyone antonio did you invite the neighbors in why are we all just still standing here let's just go go in eat the fruitcake oh some bad first impressions interesting so hazel has very good compatibility with most people actually she's even amazing with celeste she also has amazing compatibility with one of them <gasps> wait i did not realize this i didn't know they would actually be staying over how long oh so long they're gonna be staying over for almost a week that is so long okay i need to add another bed sorry i'm just so all over the place because i really did not expect this i didn't realize it meant like that i thought they would just come over for a couple of hours all right hopefully this setup will work so let's just assign these beds to people marcus this right side to lila and i actually don't know where they Diana is. Is she not coming over? I don't know. I guess we'll see in a second. So we have those two actually straight up staying over, which is really unexpected, but let's welcome them anyway. Antonio, go welcome Marcus. All of it is happening. What do I do with the suitcase? Do I need to bring them to their room? I don't know. So the suitcases are ready. The beds are ready. So that's all pretty good. I guess we'll see what's going to be happening. There are like so many people here that I don't even know what to do at this point. Fruitcake is happening. People are leaving the baby alone. She is awake, but I'm just gonna let her chill, I guess. Um, this is way more crowded than I ever expected. Oh, but it's actually so nice. They're like using the couches and everything to sit and eat and everything. That is so nice. Hazel is in such a great mood. She's not even that tired right after 24 hour labor. That's really impressive, honestly. But entertain the guests, um, get to know the neighbors and everything everything, ask them what they do in life. But Antonio is very tired. I think he might actually pass out. So I'm gonna allow him to quietly leave this party and just go to sleep. He really, really needs it. He didn't really manage to sleep at the hospital. Hazel has luckily, but he was just kind of napping on a bench. So he definitely needs to rest a little bit. Oh, and the baby's crying. Okay, Hazel, Hazel, you do need to go and take care of her. What does she even need? I have no idea. Is anyone gonna intervene? Oh, actually, Diana is. You're gonna be changing the diaper. I don't think that's what she really needs. But still, you're doing your best. Double diaper action. Interesting. Triple diaper. Okay, well, could you stop doing that? You're like in the way. And that did not help at all. So I hope that some feeding will be helpful. Maybe some socializing and then you can... She's feeling a little bit better. So you can show her off to... Maybe first to Marcus. You're closest to Marcus. So then everyone else can get a turn as well. There we go. Marcus is coming coming over to see Antonio. He's literally having a snack. Is it really that entertaining to just like see the baby? You didn't even show her off though. So try that again, please. Hopefully it's gonna work this time. He was just way too busy eating his chicken nuggets or whatever. Oh, there we go. She's showing off the baby. He's not looking very impressed.
honest. It's just a baby. He is a teenager. He probably doesn't care that much, so I don't blame him that much. So let's try that again, maybe with Lila next. Why are you standing on the baby? You know what? I'm just gonna let it happen because I don't know what to do with this situation. And the guests are leaving, so at least we have a bit less chaos in the house. This is going really, really well. And Tony's actually being super nice as well, so she's a really polite baby. Let's show her off to Diana as well. Now I feel like we're really obligated to invite Antonio's family over as well because, I mean, Hazel's family is all here already. So it's a bit unfair not to invite them too. Why are you not showing off the baby? It's like kind of working but taking a while. Just show her off to Diana. Oh, she's asleep. You probably shouldn't do that. Well, she sees her. It's fine. But can you like ask her to... Oh, you can ask her to help out. I mean, I think that they mostly are helping out already. But let's just ask everyone to help out just to see what that does really because I really don't know. So let's see. Is it maybe a bit of an overkill to ask all three of them to help out? But to be fair, they will be staying in the house for like almost a week. So they better be helping out. Antonio, how are you doing? Are you doing any better? Oh, you're actually doing pretty well. So let's have you just wake up and invite your sister and father over. So invite Jenny over and Max over, please. Not as in like stay over. We, we really can't host absolutely everyone at the same time. But maybe next after all of these people leave. All of these people. They're Hazel's family. I feel so bad for saying it that way. You know what I mean. And Jenny is here already. Let's invite her in. Antonio, you... Oh, Antonio is sleeping actually. I was gonna say you need to show off the baby now to everyone. But no, I'm gonna let her sleep. That's fine. But I mean, we can all just like dance together, have some fun. He probably really loves having everyone over. Oh, maybe a bit too much. You're hysterical. Let's not have you do that then. Maybe just watch some TV and talk to your father, catch up a little bit. You can talk about a treasured memory and console him about the death. He's still looking very sad. He's still feeling very sad. Oh, interesting. Wait a minute. New family dynamic. Difficult. Who is this with? Lila and Hazel, really? When it comes to authority, some younger sims just do not know how to respect their elders. Family members with the difficult family dynamic will be mean to each other more often. The younger sims will be less likely to follow the rules or demands of the older sim, and the younger sim will complain to the older sim more often. We just say that Lila and Hazel have a difficult family dynamic. That is really interesting because I thought that she would be a bit more difficult with Diana, not so much with Lila. I thought that these two would be a bit closer, but as I said, I think in the last episode, Hazel isn't as close with her family as Antonio is to his, so this kind of does make sense. Even I really thought that Diana would be in this dynamic instead of Hazel, but I'm gonna say yes still. Maybe Lila is giving some unwanted advice to the young mother, saying that she's doing something wrong with the baby, and that must be very frustrating. You do kind of have to be in okay terms. She will be staying for almost a week, so... Oh no, you're just being straight up mean. Insulting her. Hazel, that is a bit far. But I am worried because Antonio is hysterical. Maybe go relax yourself a little bit, calm down in the mirror, leave people alone because I'm getting a little bit concerned. We don't want another situation like it happened. Oh <gasps> no, I was literally just saying he is dying from laughing. He is a very happy sim, but maybe he was a little bit too happy. You can't die right now, Antonio. You literally just had a baby. You literally just had a baby and the entire family is over. Are you serious? What do I do now? I need to plead for him. And if he's not back to life, is Hazel going to be a widow already? My game is just against me at this point. I just wanted a wholesome let's play. This is so bad. Hazel, go plead for Antonio. Oh my god, stop watching the TV. Go plead for Antonio. This, you can't get to him. No, you need to get to him. You need to go plead. Plead. Plead right now, Hazel. This is just stupid. You just had a baby. You can't plead? Why can't you plead? Is Antonio in the way, literally? <gasps> 
No. Oh my gosh, no. I can't plead for him. Are we actually going to lose Antonio right now? She can't plead for him. I don't know why. I think he's literally in the way. Grim is not doing anything. He's really taking his time. So he's definitely allowing this pleading to happen. She just can't do it. No, he's raping him. He literally just... Are you serious? What? This is so stupid. This is so stupid. You need to argue with this stupid creature right this second. This makes no sense. At least Diana's helping with the baby. Not the point. Not the point right now. He took your husband after having a newborn baby. And now he's watching your TV. Jenny's like, yeah, I don't want to be next. I'm gonna go. Max as well. Honestly, it's that bad that you just need to fight this thing. Everyone's taking care of the baby. Everyone is out of the way. You need to show him what's up because this is not okay. I can't believe that just happened. So we have Hazel here straight up fighting the Grim Reaper, rightfully so. I really thought we would just have a nice cute infant birthday in this episode and now we are fighting death and she beat him up actually. Let's just take it all the way and declare him an enemy and send him home. I don't want to have him around but I can't believe that she had to fight the Grim Reaper and become enemies because he took her husband right after having a baby as well and they wanted to have another one too and now they can't do any of that i am screwed i <laughs> i can't believe this is happening well now i'm just super happy that her entire family is staying over because she will need all of the help that she can get you see now it makes sense i wasn't really happy with her having a matching name to her father but now after he died as well it makes so much sense it's like a prophecy or something i swear this is so so terrible funnily enough she has amazing compatibility with the grim reaper but they are enemies he finds him very unattractive but she does think that he's admirable but he thinks that she's rude and clingy what clingy to her husband that she wanted him back i hate you so much oh before going to sleep she decided to have some food with the family oh my god diana what are you doing why are you being mean to her after what happened see i said that her and diana are having a bit of a tense relationship but this is way more more than expected. Please don't be like that. Not after her partner just dropped dead because he was way too happy. That is just so stupid. But it is the next day. You need to go take care of Antonia. Your first day of being a single mother. Hopefully it's gonna go well for you. I can't believe this just happened. It's just ridiculous ridiculous. Take care of the baby. It's actually her birthday today. She's gonna be an infant and hopefully she's not gonna be too difficult because you're on your own now. It's so sad that Antonia didn't even manage to actually properly meet her father. She has but it's not like she's gonna remember him from being an infant. Hazel, Antonia is doing quite well. How about you go on a little jog with Maddie? Oh, she needs so much attention right now. She's so sad. I wonder if she's sad because of Antonio because I I don't think that pets mourn their owners but who knows maybe they do maybe I just didn't notice before it would make sense if they did so I'm gonna have you go on a little jog with her maybe that would make her feel a little bit better she also doesn't work quite yet she works in two days it's the weekend I think so you have plenty of time to do your own thing and enjoy the little free time that you have left while your family is still here. I'm also looking at Hazel's milestones because she got some new ones, very interesting ones. First fight was with the Grim Reaper. She's widowed now. Few things are sadder than when spouses are separated by death, which is why she made enemies with the Grim Reaper. This is really telling a story, that is for sure. So I wonder when Antonia ages up actually, is she going to have a milestone about about her parents dying. That is quite dark, but I really wonder. Well, these two are on their very sad jog. Hopefully that will make them feel at least a little bit better. And while that is happening, Antonia is asleep, but I think that once Hazel is back and Antonia is awake, we can actually age her up maybe. Oh, it sucks to notice that she's currently ovulating because 
I kind of wanted them to try for another baby in this episode as well. So seeing this, I think that she would pretty much most definitely get pregnant if they tried. And they never had a chance to, and they never will. But to be fair, at this point, I think it's better that she's not currently also pregnant while this is going on, because she would have at least two children to take care of by herself. I heard you became enemies with the Grim Reaper. That guy is a jerk. Well, well, Maddie, did you really have to pee on like Antonio's grave? But Antonia, I definitely do agree. That guy is a jerk for taking you both. But anyway, Hazel, you should take a shower and... Oh no, Marcus is in the bath. That is annoying. Luckily, we have a shower upstairs, but you should take a shower. And then we need to get stuff ready for Antonia's birthday. She is also awake right now, so she's definitely ready. She seems to be taken care of as well. Just out of curiosity, I had her take a fertility test and I feel like she definitely would become pregnant if they tried today. Oh, that is so heartbreaking. Do you want to plan a straight up social event? Can you do a birthday party for babies? Let's see. If I can't do it, I'm gonna do it as a family reunion, I think. A very small family, getting smaller each episode, weirdly enough. Well, I can't do it as a birthday. A family reunion then. And I'll do it as a gold event because I want to see what it comes with. Guests, we really don't have that many guests. Oh my gosh, it's just gonna be all of the family and I just had a realization that after Max, Diana and Lila die, these three will go and we'll just have Marcus and Jenny. And they're still teenagers, so it's gonna be a while until they start their families as well. Oh, it's gonna be such a tiny family, it already is. But all right, let's 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 try not to have this too depressing. So we have a family reunion, we need to take some photos, talk about family, call to Emil, that is pretty perfect because we have one right here. So let's just call everyone to Emil right now, she's hungry anyway. Oh, Victor Fang. Why are you here? You're not a part of this family. Let's just do a cheerful introduction. Do you maybe want to join the family? Do you want to replace Antonio? Uh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, by the way. I'm kidding. But it's kind of weird that he's just kind of here. So let's do an introduction just kind of to see what is going to happen with all of that. What, what do you want? They have really good first impressions. Amazing compatibility. He is married. Oh, she finds him very unattractive. Oh, and she actually finds him shallow. Never mind. You know what? That's a good thing. I don't want to forget about Antonio. Antonio immediately. Yeah, I was just curious what's happening. Let's just send you home, friend. But anyway, let's just talk to the family. I can't forget that this is actually all about Antonia. I need to age her up at some point. Discuss the family lineage, discuss some future family plans, discuss importance of family. I love these interactions and they are very fitting after what she's gone through right now. Where is Marcus, by the way? I've oh, he's more Morning, Antonio. I was just going to say this is probably really, really difficult for him. Try talking to him a little bit more. Try to console him about the death. Do a deep conversation. Do some mourning. I think that's appropriate on your child's birthday that he can't attend. At least I'm glad it didn't happen on actual Antonio's birthday. It was just one day before. If it happened on the birthday, if it happened today, that would have been even worse. Like so much worse. Oh, I just realized that she can share the baby pictures and brag about the baby. I think that maybe that would cheer Max up, so I'm gonna allow it, otherwise it would be slightly inappropriate. So she's showing some pictures maybe that she took of Antonia and Antonio. See, I hate the matching name, but it just makes so much sense, in this context at least. Oh, it's getting late. We need to age Antonia up, actually, and she's awake. She's doing quite okay. So let's do some aging up after this. Oh, you know what? Actually, I kind of want you to just go here and then take a photo so you have an actual photo of Antonia. You kind of need it for the event anyway. Well, not quite the best picture but you know what, I'll take it. So let's just take a couple of those. So there, baby Antonia right here next to her birth certificate. And now the moment that probably all of you have been waiting for. Let's age her up. See how that is going to go for you in the future. Now let's choose her trait. Am I actually going to choose a trait or should I just randomize it. I think
think I might randomize it. She was a really nice baby. I was considering calm. Now I'm considering intense because her father is just gone. You know what? Maybe that's why I would actually like to do sensitive. This actually makes so much sense for her. These sims are prone to diaper rash, are often picky with food, and can more easily become overstimulated by too much play and social interaction. However, they are also rest more peacefully through the night when soothed. It's a really good combo of calm and intense in my opinion and maybe Antonia would be a little bit more shy and stuff, maybe a bit more introverted considering her, you know, in the future considering her current background. So let's give her a sensitive trait and let's see. Oh, she has black hair like her father. Oh no. And you have glasses, that is so cute. Smile milestone unlocked. Really cheerful and happy and cute like your father was. Oh no. Well, let's give you a quick little makeover. She's really cute already. Really big eyes, which is honestly scaring me just a little bit, but I'm gonna deal with it somehow. Oh, when it comes to the hair, what am I gonna do with the hair? Because like, I do alpha and I do not have that. She was just a baby a second ago so maybe really short hair would make sense for now so let's keep it that way these glasses are a lot cuter but they're all sunglasses so i will need to keep these i really don't like them though and i can't give her a pacifier when she has glasses well you know what i'm gonna remember that she had glasses when she aged up and i'm gonna give them to her when she's a toddler because right now i want to use some of these as well and i can't do it unfortunately just gonna give you some nicer eyes i think are these Hazel's eyes are actually also Antonio's. Oh, they're also Antonio's. She's basically mini version of her father. That is really, really sad. So let's give you the same skin that your mom has. Oh, that is so cute, actually. I don't know what skin details Antonio actually had, so I'm just kind of guessing. I just want to make her look a little bit different from her mother so she gets at least something from him. I can't check anymore, sadly. I'll just give her this little spot as well. And oh my gosh, she's turning out so cute. Let's just see the teeth. I mean, she, yeah, no teeth. Well, she did just age up, so I'm gonna go with the same logic. I hate the sound so much, but I'm gonna go with the same logic with the hair and the teeth. She just aged up, so I don't think she would have any. So here she is all finished. I think she's just so, so cute. I tried to keep her like froggy theme, at least on her first outfit, because she had that froggy onesie as a baby. And her room is still currently kind of green, kind of foresty. So that was kind of the vibe for at least some of of the outfits so let me know what do you think of her she's just so adorable i really 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 love her it's a shame that her father can't see her this way she's just missing the glasses but i'm gonna give her the glasses once she is a toddler because i just want to have this pacifier a lot more than the glasses right now oh and the family dynamic actually oh they have a close family dynamic i said that already i guess when she was a baby but i guess we'll see if this changes but here she is in game feeling so sad because of a loss in the family she's gonna be sad for six days do you have any milestones for that luckily not really she just has the milestone that she was born so good for her and her first smile nothing about her father but that i would take it as a good thing so maybe she's not fully aware of what happened but it does seem like she is but hazel i'm just gonna have you introduce her to why can you only do it with two people oh because your family is staying over already so they did meet her actually when she was a newborn so let's first go to max he definitely needs any sort of cheering up right now oh here he is oh and he's actually like holding her and everything that is so adorable are you for real and he is her first visitor she is sensitive though so oh no grandparents are love she did not mind that at all. Can you interact with him in any sort of way? You can smile at him. Boohoo, poor Antonia is bummed out for being held and just wants to have some breathing space. Is that because she's sensitive or is that one of her quirks actually? Still nothing on the quirks, so I'm assuming that's just because she's sensitive. But interact with your grandpa a little bit more. Just smile at him maybe just one more time. Oh, 
that's so cute. Are you just gonna leave her now? You will? Yeah? Yeah, it might be Jenny's turn anyway. So Hazel, let's have you introduce her to Jenny. Oh, I love that the game actually is smart enough to recognize who she knows and who she doesn't. So it is only just Jenny. So just this one interaction and then we can send Max and Jenny home. And luckily this is going quite well. And I mean, she's overstimulated, but she's actually doing quite well. She's really nice. Well, this is a really sad birthday, but I think I'm just gonna leave it. I need to get the house ready for the infant and stuff. I haven't really set anything up. They just became good friends, which is pretty great. But we'll see how that goes and how being a newly single mother goes for Hazel in the next episode, which you can watch by clicking right here. And if the next episode is not out yet, here is something to watch while I wait. See you there.